Good afternoon. It is Monday, September 11th, 2023, and I am coming to you from Campsite 52 uh, at Newton Bold. I did not hike today. I was um, going to do a loop around Mingus Creek and Thomas Divide, and then knowing that I was super worn out and not in the shape I wanted to be to come out here to hike, I decided that I would just do down to Mingus Creek and back with my friend Dawn. Um, about four o'clock this morning, I woke up and realized that I brought my Durston, which is a trekking pole tent, and I need my trekking poles to hike. My concern was that it was supposed to rain. It's not going to rain. If it rains, it'll be later on this afternoon. But I got to thinking, I put a couple scenarios through my head as far as how I could keep my tent dry and take my trekking poles. I could have completely packed up and put my stuff in Dawn's tent. There were several different ways that I could have played it, but something told me that I needed to just chill at the campsite. Never done that before. I know people do that. And I thought, well, why not? I was only going to get about 2.8 miles in today anyway. So that's what I did. And that's what I've been doing. I have been doing stretches and yoga. I have been cutting up wood for a fire. I've been um, drying here. I'll turn this around. <clears throat> I've been drying our stuff. This is the last of it, which I think most of that's dry um, all day long. There's the fire pit ready to go. And then I've got some logs over here that are cut up on the other side of this big log. I've got some logs over here. I'm drying my shoes. I didn't realize my shoes got so wet yesterday. It must've been from the rain. Um, and then uh, drying stuff in my tent because if you've never backpacked in the Smokies, um, it just, it's never dry. In fact, the fact that this day did turn out to be dry is kind of shocking. So, and I know I don't really have much to report on the trails, but I thought I would just, first off, show you my Durston. It's not the most perfect pitch. It's also kind of a little slanted, but I slept wonderfully comfortable um, last night. Um, I'm not in love with it yet. I really love my Nemo Hornet. And while I'm getting more used to this one, I'm just not so sure yet, <clears throat> especially in this situation. It didn't even occur to me because I do base camp style sometimes, and it didn't even occur to me that I would need my trekking poles. Uh, so I don't know. I, I will still use it, but I can see myself using my Nemo um, more often as well because it's just such a good solid uh, tent. So anyway, um, <clears throat> I wanted to show you that talk a little bit about, which I think is also kind of important to know for anyone. And I hope that these videos can reach people who are interested in doing the Smoky Mountain 900 miler and maybe more so those who have to do it backpacking or, or want to do it backpacking. Um, I think it's very important to listen to your body. I think in the back of my mind, I knew I wasn't ready for this because my life has just been very crazy since um, May. A good crazy, but a crazy that didn't allow me to keep in shape. Um, it didn't allow me to, well, or I should say I didn't choose to. Um, because it's always a choice. I didn't choose to um, go to the gym and get on the stairs. Um, I hiked as much as I could, but in Indiana, as I've said many times, we just don't have these kind of hills. And um, so I think in the back of my mind, I knew I wasn't ready for this. And it was pretty tough, although I, 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 didn't, I wasn't hurt. I didn't feel bad today. My, my leg muscles are completely sore because of the added weight that I have. And then my pack is, for some reason, heavier than it normally is. Um, <clears throat> so I know it wasn't, an, uh, it wasn't an easy decision for me. And Dawn was very gracious, um, allowing me to put my stuff up and giving me other ideas. But I think in the end, I just felt like I needed to take a break. Um, and as I think what really weighed on me was the fact that I was only going to get 2.8 miles from my map, but I would end up doing almost six miles. And I mapped out already a way to get that for like a, it could even be a day hike, but a straight shot. So for me, I think it was more worth it to, um, kind of hang out and I love it. It is so gorgeous. Um, since the last people who were here, um, with us at camp last night left, I haven't seen anybody. 
It is so peaceful. Let me turn it back. It is so peaceful. So just, I'm on the top of a mountain in the Smoky Mountains by myself, just enjoying things. I do have a little bit of cell service, so I have been able to talk to my husband. Um, but just sitting here, oh, it's just, it's been wonderful. So I just wanted to put this out there for anybody who, like me, I realize this is a marathon, not a sprint, but there are days when I want to put down 16, 17 mile days just to get done. And in the spirit of um, being one with nature when you're out here, it's probably better every now and then to kind of slow down. And um, it's okay to slow down if that's what you feel your body is telling you to do. That's what I think my body was telling me to do. And I don't regret it at all. I kind of hate it that Don and I haven't spent a lot of time together, um, but we'll have nine miles out tomorrow. And, um, and of course he should be back here soon. Uh, he left about, I think about eight 30 this morning and I think it's like one. Yeah, it's like one o'clock. So I will have a fire going, uh, by the time he gets back. And, um, yeah, I'm very glad that I listened to my body and anybody who's doing this and thinks that they can't take a day out I mean, yeah, maybe I did waste 2.8 miles, but I, this is a long stretch for, for me and I'm okay taking that time off and you'll be okay too if you want to. So that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching. I hope some of you got something out of this. I'm sorry if I disappointed some of you since I didn't, I wasn't able to show the trail, uh, but I will have tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.